Hello, welcome to my vlog. This is Garage Bean. In this, I'm just gonna do a basic rundown of everything that I do. Like, I paint my own car, I turbo my own car, I'm gonna build a bigger engine to put in it. Some of you might already guess what it is, but I'm gonna leave that for now. I have painted other people's cars, I've done bits on other people's cars, I did an engine bay on a 300ZX, I did some wings and doors and bumpers and skirts on an S15, like I'm getting to a point now where I, I want to just do it all for the world to see, I enjoy it and Garage B, it might be a rip off of Initial D, Garage D, whatever, Garage B to me is I am the B guy. Everyone overlooks you because everyone's looking at the A guy who paid for it all and I'm the guy working for it all. I'm going to smash it out, I'm going to do as much as I can, I'm learning along the way. Any tips and help will be great. And yeah, just enjoy this journey with me. Content for today's episode as it would be, we're going to do a rundown of my car and go from there. So this is my Turbo 1 GFE IS200. Um, Basics are one ZZ injectors, T twenty eight sixty one R turbo, log manifold, three inch system, funk heat management, some eBay special AN lines and fittings, uh, Blitz SPC dual boost controller, SciTech fuel controller or well fuel pressure regulator. Again, all running through the marvelous eBay AN lines. They haven't failed me yet. They're a bit tatty. They don't look amazing. I have a breather into that the breather hose is pieced together because i'm a pikey um i relocated uh my ecu and my fuse boxes um the only electricals that i run in the engine bay are currently those that are on the engine and my fan relay switch for in for, for a switch inside the car everything else is all wires hidden or badly wrapped up in the rest of it. I've run it all here. There's no wires going over the strut towers. I painted the engine bay in a S15 silver. I forget the name of it. I will, if I can remember, I'll put it in the comments. Um, everything else though is all good. I've got a big front mount intercooler, which sits there, sits up into the grill. It's all about here. Um, BN kit, um, red relocation, just custom. Well, I say it's custom, it's not as Lotus Racing Green. This front bumper is feeling sorry for itself. I've got another one up there. Um, this one's been battered, beaten, bruised, taken a beating. It's an 86 Aero bumper, the good 86 Aero skirts, standard at rear wheels for the. UK drift scene. It's my marvellous car. Love a sticker every now and again. And yeah, as it goes, stand pretty much stock interior bar, wheel, bar, my Avenue Performance wheel, MJC quick adapter, bad boy racing seats. Um, I've got an old OMP seat for the missus at the current situation she's in. We're expecting a baby. Um, and I've got a PMC Hydro Handbrake, I think, and a custom-made flowery gear knob. I currently have it on some Advan, I think AV6 reps. I know reps are bad and not everyone likes reps, but they look good on the car and they can take a beat in. Um, I've got the four-part um ls brakes with the bigger discs hsd coilovers uh super pro poly bushes on the front um jap speed top arms um moving to the rear again hsd coilovers and some sort of orange poly bushes on the rear i do want to change them they're not amazing but yeah here we go. Um, I've got a droopy dick downturn 
exhaust because it's just all I like. It looks good with the BN kit. I did do some pinstriping sort of on my rears. These are different rears to what I've had because I destroyed one coming out of a car park with my BN kit on, which again is up there feeling sorry for itself with two snap tabs and some other bits. BMX, some status error bits and some initial, I think it's garage D, I think, a violent D, we like violent D, um, so yeah, this is my build so far, it ain't amazing, but it is what it is, you know, it's due to be bigger and better soon.